Ladies and gentlemen, it's nice to meet you all. My name is Sayuri Sua. Um, thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak. I'll be talking about current status of aging care, including these contents. The government is seeking to establish a health care and long-term care ser uh, service system for supporting population in a more multi-layered and integrated way, shifting emphasis from hospitals to communities toward the year, uh, toward the year 2025. When the baby boom generation reaches the age 75 or over, the plan is to establish a system for providing efficient and high quality health care that is aimed at early recovery into community through the functional differentiation of <coughs> hospital beds, mutual collaboration, promotion, promotion of home-based care, and other measures. This slide shows the matrix of long-term care insurance services. It is categorized into home visit services, day services, short stay services, residential services, and in facility services. Home visit nursing is a service in which nurses visit the homes of patients. Now, I will explain some of the results of research on older people living alone who utilize home visit nursing. The aim is to understand and understand the characteristics of older people living alone who utilize home visit nursing and the support provided by visiting nurses. Two copies of an anonymous self-administered questionnaire were disturbed, uh, distributed to 293 home visit nursing stations in Prefecture A, and home visit nurses completed the questionnaire. 132 valid responses were analyzed. Looking at the characteristics of the, of the older people living alone, firstly, women accounted for 54.1%. The average age of the older people was 81.1 years old. The largest group was 80 to 84 years old. That was 26%. These are difficulties um, regarding home visit nursing for older people living alone that were provided as open responses. For example, for the first one, responses included, I can perceive a patient's state of healthy health during visits, but it is difficult to assess living conditions at other times. The second response is included. Loneliness due to anxiety over living alone leads to complaints about sleeplessness and poor health. Many patients call late at night or early in the morning. For the sixth category included, Patients want to live at home, but family living apart prefer a facility. It is difficult to make accommodations when the patient's wishes and family opinions differ. Next, I will explain dementia care difficulties and strategies.
The prevalence rate for dementia among people 65 years of age or older in Japan was 15% in 2012. At that time, it was estimated there are 4.62 million people in Japan with dementia. Of those, 66% or 3.05 million were living at home in 2012. Major measures in Japan concerning dementia are shown in this slide. The ones in pink are education and training programs for care staff, medical staff, and the general public. They still continue today. Japan has valued improving dementia care quality by understanding caring for people with dementia and learning about medical treatment. The spe specific aim of this education and training program include to stop the stigma of dementia, to become helpful each other in communities, to enhance awareness to public people about dementia, to educate families to understand dementia, and to reduce the caregiving burden, to educate care staff for improvement of care, to educate medical staff for improvement treatment, and finally, to make an early diagnosis. In Japan, there are currently seven basic policy directions for dementia, including the implementation of education and training programs. Education for the general public is number one. Number one is raising awareness and promoting understanding of dementia. Training for experts is number two. Number two is providing health care and long-term care services in a timely and appropriate manner as the stages of dementia progress. Education for the general public is called the Dementia Supporters Training Program. People of every generation, every occupation are becoming dementia supporters. Over 8 million supporters have been trained as of September 2016. Dementia supporters help people with dementia voluntarily with proper knowledge and understanding in communities and workplaces wearing their orange rings, that is wristband. This is orange ring. <laughs> Dementia supporter wearing this wristband. The orange wristband movement, or so-called Orange Patrol, was introduced in an Irish radio program. It mentioned that thousands of people have taken it and hello what a nice day. Can tell you if some someone is okay or need, needs help. Although the Orange Patrol was first called uh, um, first called up by government, more and more people join it. The reason behind might be related back to this questionnaire results. In a questionnaire by Japanese government to this question, 
do you normally think about wanting to serve society in some way as a member of society? Over 60% people answered, yes, I do. This slide shows four characteristics, um, four characteristic symptoms and disabilities of dementia. It is not easy to accurately grasp these symptoms and provide care. It's especially difficult for family to perceive dementia symptoms, so examination at a medical facility is delayed. How to achieve early diagnosis of dementia and early care is a significant issue in Japan. Dr. Asada showed specific examples of daily life disabilities that are characteristics of dementia using illustrations. He was the head of research team at the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare in Japan. Due to cognitive impairment, it becomes, um, it becomes difficult to carry out actions on one's own that um, comprise daily life act um, activities. Furthermore, the rhythm of day-to-day -day life is disturbed. For a super-aging society, the community-based integrated care system is being promoted. That means to secure services, including medicine, elderly care, prevention of long-term care, home and life, so that the elderly can continue to live in their own community as long as they can lead independent lives. According to estimate developed by, developed by Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare, a shortage of nursing care workers were reported. The number of nursing care workers will continue to grow. It is, es <clears throat> it is estimated that in 2017, the shortage of nursing care workers will be 100 24,000, with a fulfillment rate of 94%. By 2025, the year when the baby boomers begin to reach 75, the estimated number of prospects for demand will 2.53 million. There is a gap between demand and supply. That is 377,000. The data of care workforce in 2012 shows another aspect of the nursing and care services. In the, <clears throat> in the in-home services, over 75% of, um, of the care worker are part-time, while in the facility services, there are more full-time workers. Most importantly, the living rate of care workers is very high compared with the other um, medical and health service business, that is, Quite a lot of care workers choose to leave. It could be said that this is not an easy job. Overload and overstress. Mm, overload and overstress might be main reasons for this high living rate. As described, the demographic structure, requirement to care service, lack of caregivers, 
expenditure of medical and long-term care um, expenditure result in a serious aging care crisis. Japan is faced with the aging care crisis. Thank you.